credit risk what is credit risk let us understand this with an example investors lend money to corporate here the corporate is the borrower and they in turn will issue bonds these bonds have a fixed term say for example 5 years or 10 years and during this entire term they will pay interest amount to the investor these interest payments are known as coupon and at the end of the term the borrower will repay the principal amount so this is the general structure of a bond and now see there are three possibilities see the first possibility during the course of time the issuer or the borrower pays all commitments in time that is they pay regular interest and they pay principal at the end of the term and see the second possibility the issuer or the borrower pays the dues that is they pay the interest amount or the principal amount uh, but with some delay okay but with some delay understand this point they pay but not on the due date rather they pay with some delay and see the third point the issuer does not pay principal and interest at all so the possibility of second even and third even is known as credit risk here the borrower can be even government government borrows money and they issue two types of securities one is a short term security known as treasury bill and another one is a long term security known as dated securities there are three variants in treasury bill which are famous they are 91 day treasury bill 182 day treasury bill and 364 day treasury bills government securities are generally considered as risk free securities because they do not carry any credit risk government will repay the principal amount on time and they will pay the interest amount or coupon amount promptly however they are subject to interest rate risk which we will discuss later and in the coming part we will be seeing what are the reasons for credit risk and how to measure credit risk credit risk possible reasons there are two possible reasons for credit risk the first one is intention of the borrower if a person borrows money with the intention of not to repay then we cannot judge such kind of person we cannot do anything about that however there is one more possibility that is the ability of the borrower that is the business stability and profitability of the company this we can understand by studying their balance sheet and profit and loss account and by studying their uh, business position in the market uh, acceptance of their product among people and other fundamental fundamentals of the company the market leaders or big companies they pose a lower credit risk when compared to new or small sized company generally new or small sized company they pose a higher credit risk and see the other points credit risk is a diversifiable risk in the sense that we can reduce credit risk by investing in different bonds by investing in quality bonds by investing some amount in corporate bonds by investing some amount in government bonds this way we can reduce credit risk hence it is a diversifiable risk and it is measured by credit rating we will see credit rating in the coming part credit rating agencies in india we have crisl icra ca india ratings and research these are some of the agencies which offer credit rating for bonds so what is credit rating credit rating tells you about the probability of default on principal and interest payments it should not be taken as a recommendation to buy sell or hold debt instruments it means that investors should not take credit rating as a guarantee credit rating is a alpha numeric symbol it would be like triple a double a plus a1 a2 etc so we will see credit ratings for long term bonds and credit rating for short term bonds in the coming slide
Long term credit rating is generally given for bonds and debentures whose term is greater than a year. These are the ratings. We have AAA rated bonds, AA, then A rated bonds, triple B, double B, B, C, and D. And uh, you could see plus and minus sign within this. Like you, you, you could see AA plus, A plus, etc. So what do plus and minus sign indicate? Plus and minus symbols are used to indicate finer distinctions within a rating category. It means that AA plus is better than AA and AA is better than AA minus. Okay. And also remember that AA minus is better than A plus. Okay. So A plus is better than A. It is like this. Okay. So this is the use of plus and minus. So plus and minus are used to give finer distinctions within a specific category. And see, bonds with rating up to triple B minus, that is triple A bonds, then followed by double A bonds, then followed by A rated bonds, then followed by triple B rated bonds. Okay, triple B minus, till triple B minus. Those bonds are generally considered as investment grade securities in the Indian context. Okay. And all bonds below that, that is WB plus and below that category till D rated bond. Those bonds are called as speculative grade securities. So what does it mean? Investment grade securities are somewhat less riskier. And speculative grade securities, they carry more credit risk. And D rated bonds are default or they are going to default soon. So, their financial position is very, very weak. So, this is how you should understand it. Okay. And uh, see the note AAA rated bonds carry the lowest coupon or lowest interest payments because of the highest level of safety they offer. Again, remember the rating is not a guarantee. But anyhow, AAA rated bonds are highest level of safety that is they offer highest level of safety compared to D rated bonds okay so as the rating comes down the coupon increases the interest payment increases why because investors they generally demand higher return for the risk they take so they generally demand higher coupons so as the rating comes down from AAA to AA then A the coupon will also increase. So this is what you have to understand in bonds. In the next part, we will see the short term credit rating. Short term credit rating is used for short term instruments whose maturity is less than or a year. Short term papers like commercial paper or short term debentures, certificates or deposit are rated. We have four different types of rating like we have A1, A2, A3 and A4 and finally we have default rating and A1 stands for highest level of safety and here too we have A1 plus and A1. We do not have the negative category here but we have A1 plus and A1 followed by A2 plus A2 which means that A2 plus is better than A2. Similarly, A1 plus is better than A1. So the plus symbol stands for the distinction within that particular category. So these are the different types of rating. To know more about rating, please visit the respective websites of credit rating agencies. Credit rating agencies in India are regulated by SEBI, Securities and Exchange Board of India.